So hello everyone and very good evening to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In this session guys, as usually we are going to do some more important questions from the PIB news which are relevant for all the government exams. All right, so let's begin with the session. But before we begin, if you want to ace the RBI grade B exam this year, you can join this crash course. And to join this crash course, you can download the Arrow Jindal app from your Google Play Store where you can get all the related stuff with your examination. And if you want to ask anything related to examination, you can follow me here. So let's talk about the very first question, which is about the Pradhan Mantri Ujjwala Divas. So how many LPG panchayats have been organized by oil marketing companies on the occasion of Ujjwala Divas, which was observed on 1st of May 2022? Remember, the Pradhan Mantri Ujjwala Yojana was launched on 1st May 2016. 1st May 2016 by Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. Who is the current Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas? It's Mr. Hardeep Singh Puri. All right, and the target was to distribute 8 crore LPG connections. The target was to distribute 8 crore LPG connections to all the eligible households. All right, and this target, this target was to be achieved by the year 2020. But this target was achieved actually in the month of September 2019. And the last connection, that is the 8th Kadogor connection, was handed over in Aurangabad district of Maharashtra. Okay. And recently, in the last year's union budget, that is in the budget 2021-22, the PM Ujjwala 2.0 was also launched. PM Ujjwala, PM Ujjwala Yojana 2.0 was launched, under which additional 1 crore LPG, uh, LPG connections were to be given. Okay are to be given abhi ye pura hua nahi hai along with this hot plate dene ki bhi baat is mein ki gai thi so this is all about the Pradhan Mantri Ujjwala Yojana I hope this is clear and on the occasion of 1st May 2022 that is the Ujjwala Divas 5000 village panchayats have been organized 5000 village panchayats have been organized by the oil marketing companies alright so I think Jovi News Madha mein aapko already bata diya hai ki sari cheeze vahi hai these all marketing companies have organized uh, 5,000 LPG panchayas on the occasion for experience sharing and also to add more and more subscriber to this scheme. Okay. And iske baad wali slide mein hai ki iske scheme ke baare mein hai. So I have already told you everything. I will not repeat that. <clears throat> so therefore the correct answer is what option E, 5,000. Moving ahead to question number 2. Very important question. Such Bharat Mission Urban 2.0 has launched National Behavior Change Communication Framework. The question is, this framework, this framework is focused on which area? Kis cheez ke liye, kaun se area ke liye is framework ko launch kiya gaya hai? And of course, this mission is being implemented by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, which is again headed by Mr. Hardeep Singh Puri. Okay, so let's talk about this framework. Remember, do remember this. It has been launched under Such Bharat Mission Urban 2.0. Okay, and what is this framework? National Behavior Change Communication Framework for Garbage Free Cities. Alright. So the objective behind launching this framework is to strengthen the objective behind the garbage free city and to make all the cities garbage free. Okay. So this has been launched to strengthen the ongoing Jan Andolan for garbage free cities. Alright. Moving ahead. So remember it shall serve as a guiding document. Okay. Ye guiding document ki tarah serve karega and it will also act as a blueprint for all the states and cities to undertake the large scale multimedia campaigns to generate awareness about the, about the benefits of becoming garbage free. Okay. And this will be, uh, the framework is focused on five different areas which are source, segregation, collection, transportation, processing of waste, plastic waste management and remediation of legacy dump sites. So these are the focus areas of this framework. But overall, okay, overall it is focused on Garbage free cities. Overall, kis ke upar ye focus hai? Garbage free cities ke upar. And therefore, the correct answer will be what option B? Garbage free cities because this focus, uh, this uh, framework is focused on garbage free city. Option B is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number 3. Consider the following statements with respect to Deen Dayal Upadhyay, Gram Jyoti Yojana and you have to identify the correct statement. So first of all, is that a new scheme? No, it is not. It is in news because recently a Bijli Utsav, Bijli Utsav has been organized by Rural Electrification Corporation Limited, in short REC, 
under ddu gjy and please don't confuse it with ddu gky these two are different schemes ddu gky is gramin kaushalya yojana while gjy is gram jyoti yojana all right please don't get confused here so that is why it is in news let's talk about this remember rec which is rural electrification corporation limited has organized bijli utsav in three states which are these three states manipur odisha and chatisgarh under the scheme ddu gjy all right now talking about the scheme what is the objective gram jyoti yojana as the name suggest very easy the objective is to provide electrification to all the villages but this is the primary objective this is the primary objective but there are other objectives as well like feeder separation to ensure sufficient power to farmers or you can say feeder separation in the farm areas between the farm areas and non farm areas so that dono hi areas ko proper electrification mil sake theek hai improvement of sub transmission and distribution network and metering to reduce the losses all right <clears throat> so these are some of the objectives of this particular scheme remember it was launched in 2015 and of course it is being implemented by ministry of power the total outlay for this scheme is 76000 crore and out of this much amount 63000 crore will be provided by the government of india as grant all right That's it. इससे ज्यादा पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है इस स्कीम में एंड नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन देन यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दी करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट द स्कीम वॉज लॉन्च इन टू थाउजेंड एंड सेवेंटीन इज दैट सो नो इट वॉज लॉन्च इन टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन इट इज बिंग इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ न्यू एंड रेन्यूएबल एनर्जी नो इट इज बिंग इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पावर विच इज हेडेड बाई मिस्टर आर के सिंह एंड द स्कीम हैज एन आउटले ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड करोर तो नहीं है भाई इट इज सेवेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड करोर तो ऑल द थ्री स्टेटमेंट्स आर incorrect here which means option d none is correct should be the correct answer i hope this question is clear moving ahead to question number 4 which organization has signed an mou with ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship headed by dharmendra pradhan the minister of education of india for training of its more than 4000 technical staff technical staff more than 4000 technical staff ki training ke liye skill training ke liye to be precise Ministry of Skill Development के साथ एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ने एमओ साइन किया है यू हैव टू टेल द नेम ऑफ दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिमेंबर दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इसरो ऑफ स्किल डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप टू प्रोवाइड ट्रेनिंग टू इट्स मोर देन फोर थाउजेंड टेक्निकल स्टाफ एंड दिस विल बी डन इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स द टारगेट टू कंप्लीट दिस प्रोजेक्ट द टारगेट ईयर द नंबर ऑफ ईयर्स इन विच दिस प्रोजेक्ट विल बी कंप्लीटेड इज फाइव ईयर्स and this training to these technical staffs will be given at national skill training institutes across the country pure pure desh mein phaile hue hain national skill training institutes and these institutes work under the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship so in these institutes these training programs will be given to the technical staffs of isro all right so therefore guys the correct answer is what option b isro isro is the correct answer and of course dr s somnath is the chairperson of isro question number 5 pe aa jate on how many sector the first phase of second edition of atal new india challenge is focused so the niti aayog the think tank of government of india niti aayog has launched atal new india challenge second edition 2.0 has been launched and of course this atal new india challenge is a flagship program of atal innovation mission ये अटल इनोवेशन मिशन के अंडर काम करता है ओके द क्वेश्चन इज द फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ दिस सेकंड एडिशन इज फोकस्ड ऑन हाउ मेनी सेक्टर्स सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस रिमेंबर दिस प्रोग्राम एज आई टोल्ड यू इट इज अ फ्लैगशिप प्रोग्राम ऑफ अटल इनोवेशन मिशन इट्स सेकंड एडिशन हैज बीन लॉन्च्ड फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ सेकंड एडिशन हैज बीन लॉन्च्ड ओके एंड दिस प्रोग्राम इज इज एम्ड टुवर्ड्स सीकिंग सेलेक्टिंग सपोर्टिंग एंड नर्चरिंग द टेक्नोलॉजी बेस्ड इनोवेशन एंड करेंटली the phase 1 the first phase which has been launched is focused on seven areas which are e mobility road transportation space technology and application sanitation technology medical devices and equipment waste management and agriculture so these are the seven areas on which this first phase of second edition of nic is focused all right so therefore the correct answer will be what option b seven moving ahead to question number 6 very direct question with which states forest department oil india limited has signed an mou for carbon sequestration 
एंड रिस्टोरेशन ऑफ डिग्रेडेड फॉरेस्ट लैंड ठीक है वेरी डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन इट इज बेस्ड ऑन एन एम ओयू विच हैज बिन साइन बिटवीन ऑयल इंडिया लिमिटेड एंड अ स्टेट फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट सो यू जस्ट है स्टेट गाइज इज असम ऑप्शन बी सो दिस एम यू हैज बिन साइन विद असम फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट ओके एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे विच ऑफ दी फॉलोइंग एजेंसीज हैज साइन एन एम ओ यू विद क्वेलकॉम इंडिया प्राइवेट लिमिटेड और सपोर्टिंग इंडियन सेमी कंडक्टर स्टार्टअप अगेन द क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन एम ओ यू सो इन द इन एनी क्वेश्चन और इन एनी न्यूज ऑफ एम ओ यू यू जस्ट हैव टू डू थ्री थिंग्स दर्गेनाइजेशन बिटवीन विच दू हैज बिन साइंड सो टू नेम्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड थर्ड दी ऑब्जेक्टिव दैट्स इट सो दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज सी डी ए सी ऑप्शन ए विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर सेंटर फॉर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एडवांस कंप्यूटिंग and that's it for session today i hope all the questions are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next session on wednesday goodbye take care and god bless